hi in this video i'll share um, the procedure um, of uh, how to book the uh, visa appointment for l1 visa i'll share my screen and share all the steps till actually booking the appointment like uh, from creating the account on cgi portal so mainly i'll be covering uh like which portal you have to go to that the cgi portal you have to go how to create the account there uh once you create the account there uh you have to fill in the details uh once you done with the filling the details you have to select what type of visa you have to enter your ds160 details and you have to enter your uh, mailing i mailing address and other details then you have to pay a fee for l1 it's 190 dollars for uh, business visa is uh, 160 dollars you have to pay that fee and then you can go ahead and schedule the appointment so i'll share my screen and um and i'll go through with you on the process of how to actually fill in your details how to make the payment and how actually you can schedule the appointment and reschedule if uh, the sooner uh, appointment is available So this is the website where we have to go and uh, book the appointment for any kind of visa for us uh, just create your uh, profile with your email id on cgifederal.secure.force.com uh, once you create the id login here you will see this uh, portal here you have to click on the new application you are seeing some uh, pre-filled information that's fine so here you have to select non-immigration visa so immigration visa is where you are uh, uh, trying to just uh, like just moving into uh, the usa or any country like if you are refugee or uh, refugee or you are moving permanently there non-immigration non is like you are not immigrating to that country you are just uh, going there for temporary reason or uh, so L1 comes under uh, this category, non-immigration. B1, B2 comes under this category. L2 comes under this category. Go ahead with this one with the visa type. Select uh, where do you stay. Uh, so I'm just selecting Uttar Pradesh here as I'm from Uttar Pradesh. Uh, language of interview only available is English. So go ahead with this one. So here you have to select what type of visa you are applying for. Uh, so business, uh, business tourism and all other visa. So L2 will come in this one. Uh, crew, J visa, student visa L1, employee based visa. So you will select L1 here. Go ahead with this one as it has only one option. J1, uh, L1 blanket intra company uh, transferees blanket one. Go ahead with this. Just confirm everything is fine. Uh, non immigration visa, uh, India, Uttar Pradesh, English, L1, L1 blanket, and Chennai. So uh, for L1, uh, there is only one um, US embassy you can um, apply for the interview, that is Chennai. Uh, that is like valid from like 2003 now there is no other place you can go other than uh, Chennai for L1 for L2 and other visa you can uh, definitely go to other location Delhi, Kolkata, Hyderabad, Mumbai go ahead with this one yeah here you have to give your passport number uh, passport issuance start date which country is it from passport expiry your birth date nationality here you have to give the fir first name last name uh, country of birth gender here you have to give your ds160 confirmation number uh, whatever you got the ds160 confirmation number when, when you uh, fill your ds160 application you will get this number with the confirmation on your mail also on the pdf also so you have to use that number here and you have to be very careful like uh, with filling the DS-160, I'll share the link of a video where you can uh, have the guide for DS-160 and you have to be very sure that number is the right one. Here you have to fill your mobile number. It's really not very useful. Uh, I've not seen how they use this mobile number for any kind of communication. But yeah, email is the uh, email is the one they use for the communication. So this is uh, yeah, the important one. Yeah, here you have to put the address where you want to get your uh, passport. So if you are uh, fortunate and you get your uh, if you get your visa approved, they'll take your passport uh, from you. 
and they'll ship that passport with the visa stamp on this address and this address can be anything of your relative of anyone uh be like try to get this address as much nearer to the major cities so it comes uh, like in, within a couple of days and uh, no issues with the delivery and all that. like you don't want to lose your passport somewhere uh, in the delivery process right uh, this is the petitioner name so generally um, uh, your uh, organization will give you the petitioner name start name receipt name expiry date so for me it was microsoft start date they will give you one start date so you can uh, they will mention you all these three information exactly so for microsoft it may be microsoft something something and then pe petish uh, receipt number whatever they give you the receipt number uh, uh, expiration date so they will also give you the expiration date too that is the like expiration date majorly like is same as your uh, like visa expiry also continue with this one uh, yeah. if you're going uh, to apply visa so let's suppose you are going to you go you go you are going to us on l1 but there is someone also with you who will be traveling so let's suppose your spouse is traveling your kids are traveling or your parents are traveling with you they can obviously apply later once you go in the us and you stay there and they can then apply the visa but if you want to add them with the, with your application so that means you um, you will get the visa appointment with them uh, so you all will get together and all will get the visa at the same time and you can move at the same time so here if you want to add someone you have to establish the relation like you have to tell the relationship what's the relationship ds160 number for them first name last name and pretty much the same um, entries as you filled in the last one just make sure it is for the person you are applying for and you can apply for as many person um, you want to add with you it's actually called one plus a uh, 2d one plus one d means you are the one and then one dependent two dependent t three dependent and you will get the appointment accordingly so for me there is none uh, existing ah yeah. so this is like already if some member has the uh, existing application so you can add here so none for here so now it uh, it just gives us information what are the document required for the l1 visa ds160 form submitted to Chen uh, chennai consulate passport valid to tra um, for travel to united states with the validity date at least 6 months beyond your intended date of stay in the united states so uh, you make sure your passport is um, let's suppose you you are going uh, in the uh, you're moving into the us on let's like, suppose june 20 three uh june uh june month and 23 year your passport should be should have expired it like l more than six months of that that then only you can enter into us if your passport is getting expired or um, it's less than six months of expiry you have to renew your passport and then you, ha you can enter into the us so one two into two uh 51 51 millimeter photographs taken within the last six months two set of i so these documents i797 i129s will be provided by your uh, organization to you you have to carry them they will stamp 797 they'll keep with themselves and 129s they will make a stamp on it and return to you and you have to carry it to the us so once you can uh, you can read about all these informations uh, so when you go into the embassy uh, they'll ask you $500 uh, for the fraud detection fee so you have to as soon as you enter into the embassy you have to pay this amount and then they will take your interview and uh, you can you can just read around this one biometric entry fee of this uh, one fee payment includes and all that so you can read about the fees is here Uh, what should I do unnecessary you can go through this one as well 
add children it will require that's why yeah let's go ahead so this is uh, uh, like if you want to pick up your passport once it where once it has stamped so you can select pick up or if you want a premier delivery I think you have to pay 690 rupees some something around 650 right so you can add the address of the same address uh, which you provided before mailing address and they'll just um, uh, like deliver the documents to you within two day or three or three days so yeah so yeah so once you are done with all the details you have to pay this fees this is around 190 dollars converted into INR this is like around 16,000 and once you pay through this method the easiest one I found is the NEFT um, uh, so they give you the information like add this um, account as your beneficiary in the uh, whatever net banking you have just add this IFC code, uh, unique uh, beneficiary account name and make sure you save the uh, beneficiary name exactly same as this one. Uh, for once I um, uh, ignored this instruction and uh, uh, named the beneficiary um, incorrectly and that delayed my like application for seven days so that, that's not helpful. There, there will be like emails to and fro so not helpful. Make sure you, you mention these three things uh, very well. Once you make the payment uh, of uh, exactly 15960 uh, then after like 24 or um, 48 hours you will see you will get a receipt uh, number on your mail or a receipt number will automatically uh, be reflected here and then you can continue from here and once you continue you will get a di all different set of uh, um, different set of uh, UI here different set of options here to uh, like schedule the appointment So once you make the payment here and add the receipt number and um, continue, uh, the UI and the uh, the options will change for you. I have already an application with the uh, the uh, payment made. So here um, you can see you will see these options once you log in uh, after making the payment. And when you go to the reschedule appointment or schedule appointment, you will see schedule appointment, reschedule appointment. You can. Uh, you can reschedule your appointment one plus four what exactly that means is you can uh, schedule the appointment once for the for the first time and you can reschedule the appointment at max four times so after your first uh, schedule uh, you can only schedule it at max four times so generally what happens is if you open the portal you may not get the uh, dates of of very early time so what do you do you keep on looking uh, daily on daily basis or twice a day and keep on checking like if uh, the new dates are available if the uh, sooner dates are available and then you apply for that one so let's say uh, let's say you go for the schedule appointment you have to just put the captcha here so you will see um, this is uh, VAC uh, for the L1 uh, you will only see the op option for Chennai here uh, nothing else uh, so for VAC actually you can do the VAC at any center Chen so you see uh, Chennai, Hyderabad, Kolkata, Mumbai, Delhi so VAC has no um, uh, uh, like uh, limitation that you can only do at Chennai so once you select whatever your preference date is and all so you can go ahead and select this date uh, let me select the Mumbai So these are the available times and these are the available slot so you can select uh, uh, any date uh, any time uh, which you like and which is available so that is the most important part most of the time the sooner time is sooner date is not available sooner time is not available so once you go ahead with the OFC appointment OFC appointment as you, uh, you may know like this is the biometric one uh, where you go and have your photo clicked and uh, you submit your like fingerprints and all and when uh, you this so once you select the OFC date uh, you will get this um, 
page for the counselor appointment and this is uh, this counselor appointment is basically the interview date for you if you select uh, so you will get option let's suppose you selected OFC date on January 1st so you will see only dates available uh, within 14 days so January 14th you will get the dates if available so within those 14 days uh, you can book the appointment generally people what they do is uh, because Chennai like it's not easy to go to Chennai for everyone so what they actually do is they try to book like OFC first day and second day consulate interview but it may not be possible always like in this case you see I selected the March one or something yeah and then um, uh, the date it is giving me after three four days so if you are lucky you will get the consecutive days as well and once you select this once you select the date and continue it is booked so it will be count as one uh, reschedule in your account and the date will be uh, uh, date will be fixed for you and if you go to uh, if you go to appointment history you can actually see what all appointments you made uh, and what were what were the appointments you had before and uh, like what is the current appointment you have and you have to take the uh, print out of the appointment letter here whatever your appointment uh, mail or appointment um, PDF you get from here and uh, visit the embassy with that okay once you have once you can see the appointments um, in your uh, appointment history that, that's it do you have to just now be sure what documents you have to carry I'll try to um, doc, like um, list the documents you have to carry for L1 in the uh, description or I'll just give the link and um, then uh, you can go ahead take those documents and carry to the uh, consulate so you have to go twice there one on one once on your OFC date once on your consulate date and hopefully you get the visa so all the best for that yeah if you have any question regarding appointment booking or anything related to um, US visa process L1 L2 B1 B2 so I have gone through those um, I have applied for my spouse I have applied for my parents and all so I know now so I can help you so you can just comment your question in the comment box and I can uh, reply back to you on that one yeah if it needs a small video I'm happy to uh, create a small video if uh, if that helps so that's also works yeah thank you